Yeah, hey, hey, Crystal. Yeah. <clears throat> now, uh, I've got your swing uh, compared to John Mahaffey. John Mahaffey was from the University of, of Houston. And uh, uh, John Mahaffey uh, and, and Mr. Hogan uh, play golf together. John Mahaffey is one of, of the first uh, uh, folks that had a chance to play uh, Mr. Hogan's golf clubs. And they played golf together. Uh, you, you're <clears throat> you, you've transitioned from uh, of the Jody you know Vasquez. I always do the right hand over the left, and I'll actually have have a, a picture where Mr. Hogan's like this with uh, with the golf club. His his arms were in this this manner here. What you're doing is you're you're doing the John Mahaffey. You're doing this move away from the ball, and I I'll, I'll have your swings where you've changed off of that. So uh, you want to think of inside, up, and under. If, if you have a, uh, a watch, the watch would be looking out this way, the dial. You're, you're setting it back, <clears throat> and you've changed. And I can see your grip now. Is, uh, you've actually separated your hands a little bit, and you're strong. And, and you're thinking about the level low left. Now, Dan Whitaker, uh, of course, uh, does that, teaches that. Uh, the gentleman... <clears throat> uh, John, uh, John Slee uh, had a lesson with Mr. Hogan, and the deal with, the, with, with that is that Hogan wanted his, his arms to drop. Well, you still can do that, but you want your elbows and your arms and wrists to be in this fashion. You can see you will get a drop. If you do it this way, you're going to do a flyover. You're, you're going to be move, moving over. And Okay, you move over, then you're level left. Now, now Mr. Hogan was always up in here. And so uh, <clears throat> I'm giving a little bit of a, a front, uh, front introduction. The last part of this, I'm actually showing you. Uh, John Mahaffey always wanted to fade the ball, like Mr. Hogan, and he, he struggled with it on the tour, you know, because he had this position. Now, Chris Cheddar, because I study this stuff, this is not, not against her golfing background, but she always said that, that Mr. Hogan tried to work with her on her takeaway because she knew she had a Raymond Floyd, uh, this motion here, and this is is the opposite. You've had lessons with uh, <clears throat> Dave Ledbetter. He doesn't teach the right hand over. He taught uh, Nick to cock the wrist in front, so he had this other way. And this is what Chris, in a way, was doing. Raymond Floyd was doing, and it almost says, "Well, I'm, I'm Hogan. I've got I've got that, but you don't have this." Uh, Jody Vasquez got you in that position. Uh, uh, Mr. Hogan put Glenn Ford in that position. The dial of the wrist goes this way. Uh, Gary Player inside up and under. Inside up and under. You're talking about Sam Snead. You can see how how, how, the, how the body bends. Uh, it, it goes this way. Then you come in and then you go in this way. This is all in handwritten letter. So anyhow, I study what you're doing. I'm getting a little bit burned out on... on uh, I'm making YouTubes. I delete all the YouTubes. I'm going to go back in and do something different and have a point to my website. But you're doing great. I can just see uh, your evolution out. You can almost think of it as if you're doing cross-armed. You're getting your arms this way. Before, and uh, this is some time ago, you talked about you know Mr. Hogan's fundamentals or the fundamentals of how you want to instruct it. In the Shangri-La, you said that your arms would have to be in this fashion. That is correct. <clears throat> so there's different ways to hit the golf ball, but uh, I'm, I'm watching what you're doing, and I'm just commenting. This is not a... Uh, you're so gifted and so dedicated that you can swing the, the club any way you want. But I, I see these things, and uh, so I'll just go ahead and... And, and say it, but uh, you're doing great. I'm trying to think of, of, of any other thing. Um, Mr. Hogan would, uh, he would turn off his right heel. You know, how he would, like I, uh, you know, we've talked. He'd take it back. He, he wouldn't make this type of move too much. He would stay right here, and he, uh, he would get his body over. I think you, you talked about the, uh, of the cigarette holder. But once he got to here, he was turning off his right heel. He didn't go left to right and then left. He pretty much, he turned right off the ball, and then he, he turned on that right heel. 
He went a little bit forward. He just knew where that left foot was, but he didn't launch forward. He stayed behind the tree. Here's the tree, and he was pushing. He was pushing with the arm set this way. A little bit, if you go level left, you're going to have a tendency to go, okay, I'm to the right side, and then I'm going to power it, and then I'm going to launch over. <clears throat> you're, you're, you're coming, you move into the right side versus onto the right side. You're moving into the right heel, and you want to pivot on that right heel. Watch his footwork. The, uh, the heel coming in is closer. The heel of the foot is closer to the target. <clears throat> you don't want the right heel to spin out it's like boxing this you know, motion. So anyhow, there's a lot to be said on the front end, but please watch the comparison of your swing with John Mahaffey. John Mahaffey, just, uh, he had the interlock grip, he had the same setup that you're doing, and he took it this way. Well, it'd be more or less here. You would see it this way. You see this versus that. And uh, once you get it cupped, you want to get it cupped, but you want to turn. See, everybody uh, can't see the three-dimensional thing on it, but it's a turn. You want to turn the chest, turn the chest, and it's this way. This is where, you know, and Mr. Hogan said, with the pane of glass. He didn't want you to do this. Everybody says, okay, I'm on that pane of glass. No, it was here. And, and then you can pivot off that right heel, and then, then you're going to go left, inside, up, and under on the other side. You, you take care.